Welcome to day number one for Lily. My name is Jody Bunting and this is our live coaching video for our slimmer Lily who is doing our lose 14 pounds in 14 days. She'll be coming on for a live coaching session right here, right now. So in a few moments, uh, Lily will be joining and we'll joining us and we'll be going through her plan uh, and I'll be sharing with you exactly what I advise and personalizing it for Lily. Uh, for those of you who don't know what the 14 day plan is, uh, basically my slimmers can choose three different options. They can either count calories for 14 days and lose a stone. They can count carbs for 14 days and lose a stone. Or the third option is just to follow our meal plan. So it's as simple as that um, and in our private group, so we've got a private group with my slimmers doing this and I've offered them some free one-to-one -one coaching if they do it via Facebook Live. So that's what we are doing tonight and this session is for Lily. So we're just waiting for her to come on and while we're waiting for her uh, I will just um, explain a little bit more about the 14 days. Um, so a lot of people say, you know, it's too fast. You are losing weight too fast. Uh, now, if you speak to any medical professional, they will agree with you that long term it is too fast. However, Medically, for your body to physically lose a stone in 14 days is so beneficial. If you're going through, if you're going for an operation or you're going through stress in your body, something like that, to actually get rid of a big chunk of weight in two weeks is a fantastic thing. That is physical. Mentally, to lose a stone in two weeks is also so motivational. Suddenly you go from, I can't achieve anything, what's the point in exercising, what's the point in eating better, uh, to suddenly losing a stone, your clothes feel better, you feel better in size, and mentally you've got that motivation to actually lose weight for good. So this is why we do the 14 day plan. Uh, it isn't just uh, to uh, lose weight, it's actually a mental and physical thing. So Lily's here now, so I'm going to send her an invitation and bring her onto this live video. And we'll talk to her a little bit more about, here she is. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? Sorry, I've just realized I've got a very red face, so I should probably put some no, makeup on. No, don't worry. <laughs> I was out in the rain. Um. Yeah, I'm doing good. How are you? I'm great. So, day number one. Was day number one yesterday for you? You started it yesterday. Um, I haven't actually started, so um, I'm going to pick up some tips here now with you. Yes. And then make a list of things I need to do, some reminders up on the walls of things I want to try and achieve. And have you managed to see the plan? I did look at it, but not yesterday. It was a few days ago now. I don't remember too much about it now. Okay, so you've got three different options to choose from. Uh, one is to count calories. The second one is to count carbs. And the third one is just to follow the meal plan. Well, I looked at your meal plan and it looked quite good. So I might try it that yes. way. But um, I think, was it 800 calories a day? Is yeah. that right? Yes. Yeah. I think I'll probably do that because I've done five two where I've done five days at 600 calories and two days eating normally before. Yeah. And I was able to count my calories for the 600 days. So I think I should be all right with 800. That seems the, quite reasonable, actually. The, the positives of doing the 800 is the fact that you can eat more or less anything. But as you probably know from your experience with 600 calories, the more vegetables and salad you can have, the bigger your plates mm. are and the more you're going to fill yourself. So okay. that's obviously... That's a good way yeah. to go. Uh, the good thing about the meal plan is just long term, it's just focusing on fiber and protein, which again is always going to be beneficial. Um, and have you used MyFitnessPal before, the free app? Yeah, I'm not too good with 
logging into that every day. Yeah. But I will. I will download it. Well, yeah. Whatever works for you. I've got, I've got a lot of clients who still use pen and paper just because yeah, they... Yeah, I use pen and paper. Yeah. That's how I did it for 600. So whatever works for you, that's the... That's Keep the... a little notebook in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. So what are the foods that you're going to miss? What do? What are your comfort foods at the moment? I'm... I've recently been cra I think it might be the wet weather. I've been craving sweets and chocolate. And I'm not usually that bad for those things. Like I can go for months without chocolate. I've done that quite a few times. Um so yeah, craving sweet things. Um so that will be hard. Um but I'll fill up on vegetables and once I get into it with lots of protein, lots of eggs and stuff, it will probably satisfy my cravings maybe yes so a lot of the time um the sugar cravings or the cravings for sweet things is often because you haven't got enough protein so this uh, is where it's really important to get a lot of protein especially first thing in the day and that st often stops you from um craving in the evening mm. the other thing is water uh, how how's yeah. your water intake I I'm generally quite bad, but I did recently receive a new water bottle from someone. So oh, nice. I topped that up. It's about half a liter, I think. So I topped that up a couple of times during the day. So I'm probably getting about with tea. I don't know if tea counts with milk. Uh, probably getting at least two liters a day. Yeah. So two liters a day is what we all kind of need as a minimum. The bad news about hot drinks, especially ones that contain caffeine in, so you need your two litres, and then for every caffeinated drink, so for instance, if you had two cups of tea as well, you would need another two cups of water to wash that caffeine out your body as well. Caffeine, yeah. So, yeah, dr yeah. any drinks it's apart from water don't count as your water intake. They actually up it as more. Have you ever drank hot water? I do. I do hot water perfect. with lemon. Perfect. You yeah. see, that's that's the perfect way where you kind of got the feeling of having a cup, a hot cup, yeah. and you're sipping something, yeah. but just without that's a really the caffeine. Good plan. I'll make a note of that. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah. Find a notepad where I can um, make some notes of things I need to get into my. Um, and I've got peppermint tea and things like yeah, that. Yeah, perfect. Any of those herbal or fruit teas that are, are completely natural ones then they're the ones that you should be going for do you like sparkling water i do i, do. I really like it yeah that's a great way to introduce more water yeah perfect that's also one of my favorites the other tip that i would give as well when drinking more water when you're trying to introduce more is just trying to have room temperature water because when you have water that's too cold your body tries to get rid of it so you'll be going to the toilet a lot if you have very cold water are you still there lily i don't know how to do that Okay, I'll there, leave it. There we go. You're back. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, so I just said, um, just making sure that your water isn't really cold. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I took a note of that. Room temperature water it stops you from going to the toilet too much. Yes. So your body retains it more. That's interesting. I didn't know about that. And then and I will introduce hot water with lemon in the morning. It's good for cleansing your liver and your, um, yeah. Everything. Starting. There's so sparkling many benefits. Water. Sparkling water. I think Tesco's have got a really good deal on water at the moment. Yeah. So I'll there's always different brands them. having different deals. There's always one of them. Yeah. So generally, do you eat your biggest meal later on or are you quite yes. good eating through the daytime? I've done a lot of fasting in the past. I've done, um, been doing intermittent, intermittent fasting. I tried alternate day fasting as well, but that's very difficult. Um, intermittent fasting, so usually about 16 hours. So I don't have breakfast and I sort of skip lunch. Well, I might have breakfast around one or two o'clock maybe three or four sometimes yeah. so 
So I try and fast as much as possible because I just don't feel hungry in the morning and I let, try to prolong it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, no, that's, that's fine. Um, you know, this misconception that the breakfast is the most important meal of the day and we should all be having breakfast is so untrue. So it's good that you're listening to your body and following your hunger. Yeah, it was Kellogg's that came up with that to sell more breakfast cereal. Exactly, it sure was. It was <laughs> a marketing funny. ploy for us all. Marketing ploy, <laughs> yeah. And what about activity? So I've got a John Wick's DVD, Lean and 15, yeah. and I've been managing to do that about two or three times a week. Excellent. I don't have a car, so I walk a lot. Perfect. And other than that, I quite like dancing, so if I have the radio on, if I'm not watching TV, I can just do a bit of dancing yeah. at home. Yeah. Perfect, just, just put your favourite song on and just go for it. Yeah. And it's the, you know, it's the funnest and easiest way as well to exercise. It's not all about, you know, following regimented uh, routines and things. So this is good. Absolutely. How's your sleep? Sleep is really important to me. I sleep about eight or nine hours a day. And if I don't get enough sleep overnight, I'll have a nap either in the morning or in yeah. the afternoon. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. That sounds good. When I can. And then you don't need to go any into much detail, but what about your digestion? Do you think it's, yeah, it's quite okay? Pretty, pretty regular. Pretty good. Wonderful. Yeah. I'm pleased with that. I get enough fiber. I do. I love my salary. Yeah as a snack and um i love uh vegetables so i'm all right on that okay perfect so you sound pretty much uh set up well um as i said just follow those 800 calories rule uh, make sure you're having protein at every meal and make sure you're having fresh uh vegetables or salad with every single meal and you literally can't go wrong yeah. in the next two weeks have you got any celebrations or any plans it's my to birthday go out? at the end of august so yeah i've got celebration but, then but nothing in these 14 days that could throw you um, off oh i see what you mean like birthdays and things i've just had birthdays so i think i'm all right for that let's think what's the date now it's the second of august 14 that'll be 16 um no i think it's all good i've got party at the end of august so try and lose weight for that okay perfect so uh as i said if you want to use my fitness pal or write it down manually if you could uh do that and record all your meals and then if we have a catch up this time next week then we'll go through all your meals and i'll give you some little uh hints to keep the weight loss going how do you feel about weighing every day Oh, I haven't weighed myself in a long time. I do it by dress size, but I will take my measurements and I will weigh yeah. myself as well. It's completely op uh, optional. Uh, you know, some people like to go on the measurements. Some people like to go on the scales. Some people like to work out their body fat percentage via the scale. So it's completely up to you how you want to measure. Other people even just take a photo of themselves at the start of the 14 days and just see how they look. Yeah. Because when you lose, you know, something like a stone, it is a dress size yeah. and you can really feel it. That would be amazing. I'd fit into some more of my clothes. So, yeah, however you want to measure yourself, then do that tomorrow and that'll be mm -hmm. our starting point. OK. Um, but just make sure that every day you are kind of feeling a little bit healthier or you know it's working this is what we're trying to get at because there's things that i can advise you to do to obviously make sure you are staying on course and and you do lose the stone yes i um i'm not the weight that you i just realized after i joined and everything i'm not the weight that you suggest you need to be in order to start that's okay i've never, I've never been this... more than around what i am I'm now is just over 12 stone yeah. or something yeah. this is just my marketing just to try and reach out for oh, over 19 stone yeah. but yes most of the people in the group are not 19 stone okay. anymore, so don't worry okay. about that all right then that's brilliant Wonderful. thank you so much that's been really good have you got any other questions uh yeah what should i weigh myself in the morning before breakfast yes if you could that would be great and then we've got a good starting point Okay, no, that's all then. Wonderful. 
so yeah keep us updated in the group if you've got any questions just post in the group if you want to share your meal photos as well just post it in our group cool will do thanks so much wonderful lovely to meet you, you and i'll speak to you next week you okay to speak to you soon bye, bye, -bye.